you're mostly going to see Nick cooking in this video, which is not because we live off the grid or don't live off the grid. He just is the one who really likes to cook. And here he is introducing our stove. It's sort of your standard uh, wood burning cook stove. Probably not the oldest ones out there. Um, like with most things, we found it on Craigslist. Uh, <clears throat> so the firebox is over here. Um, right under, right under there is the firebox. And then um, this whole cook surface heats up, and there's an oven as well, which we're going to use. You can control how the exhaust goes uh, around the oven box or just straight up the flue, uh, depending on how you want to use it. So if you move this lever over to this side like I have it, that cycles the, um, the exhaust across the top of the cooktop, under the oven box, and up the flue. And if it's over this way, it just goes straight from the firebox over here and up the flue. So it doesn't heat up the whole surface, and it wouldn't heat up the oven. So the biggest difference, really, is having to start the fire about a half an hour before you want to start cooking. It's not that it's difficult to start the fire at all, um, especially now that we're used to it. We can do it pretty fast, but you have to really plan ahead or, or be willing to be patient. The cook stove will heat up pretty, uh, pretty quick. You can usually put a pot of water on to boil, um, and then everything else starts to heat up after that. Uh, but there is a fair amount of waiting and checking the fire, and I'm drinking coffee, I guess. We go through several pots of coffee <laughs> in a normal day. So we're now using limbs for uh, firewood. We were using uh, cordwood last year, but we found that the limbs heat up really nicely. Uh, and we use mostly cast iron. You know, a funny thing about it is you clean your cast iron with heat instead of with water, which is great since we don't have running water. But we do have a lot of heat. <laughs> After the thing gets heated up, you have to uh, adjust the airflow, just like any fire, so that you can uh, control where the heat goes. What you're going for is coal, of course. And here's Nick making omelets. And toast. The toast on the, the stovetop works, I think, even better than a toaster. And of course, after you have the thing good and hot, the uh, oven gets uh, hot enough to do some baking which we've been doing more and more of. There's worse ways to spend a day.